This video was brought to you by Stoenberg, Abed Root Planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power, and Marcus Biel. Yo, what's up? We are now in Chengdao and we are preparing to go to Chiang Mai. Yes, with the Aura Good Cut GT. Actually, yes, in Europe it's going to be called Aura Funky Cut. So from now on, I actually rename all the Aura Good Cut to Aura Funky Cut in my channel. Yeah, so people will find the videos. But anyway, so yes, I charged the car to 100%, mostly on solar. And uh, yes, the car has been packed to the max. This one is not very big. So you see that uh, in order to fit everything, I had to put one bag, that's my bag. This is wifey's bag, but most of this is just baby stuff. Also some baby stuff over there. Isabel is safely secured here. And then we have so much shit with us. This is baby stuff again, baby stuff. Uh, more baby stuff. Uh, this is the breast pump and all the other stuff that the wifey needs. There's a little bit of uh, uh, personal belongings for the adults here. Uh, but other than that, this is mostly just babies. I can show you wifey. Yo, what's up? <laughs> yeah, so yes, I'll show you that. We are not planning to go. I reset everything. Hopefully everything has been reset here. Okay, whatever. Yeah, but this this is in Thai. I don't know how to change it to uh, uh, English because the rest of the user interface is English. But we will drive south. Wait, what happened to the map now? She Okay, whatever. We're gonna drive south here <laughs> towards Chiang Mai. And then you see that, interestingly, when I charge it to 100%, this place that I charge was 100%, but then the true state of charge was 99%. Hmm. Okay, there's a tiny top buffer then. Here we see some voltages, battery temperature, motor temperature. It's also interesting, at 90% state of charge, they claim state of energy or the energy uh, was 50 kilowatt hour. And then at Humber's it's still 50 kilowatt hour. <laughs> so I guess, yes, once, once I'm in um, Chiang Mai, I will do a range test to see how far we can drive. But this car has actually done 12,500 kilometers. So maybe there's a little bit of degradation, not much though. But okay, so yes, uh, here by the way, see that I've turned on the seat ventilation. Oh yeah, wait, where's the massage by the way? There's supposed to be the massage somewhere here. I think you have to go to vehicle settings. See if I can find this. And then in car, and then maybe body. No, wait. Yeah, because on the body you have seat memory. But where? Uh, see, and then you, know, the, 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 you see how unlogic this user interface is. Because here we have seat memory, but then on the seat setting you have seat massage. Do you want to close the seat massage or do you want to low or high? Yeah. Where were No, I, I bumped into something. I have to go to body and then. We call it. Okay, whatever, well whatever. Well Let's go. Yeah, is it really night? No, no, it's not 19 degrees Celsius. It's more like 26, 27 degrees outside. All right, we're on the move. So rule number one when driving in Thailand, always hug the right lane, the fast lane. Why? Because the left lane is very bumpy, many places. And also the left lane is full of uh, motorcycles and slow moving vehicles. But then sometimes you might have to undertake some slow moving trucks hugging the right lane also. So yeah, like well, they are U-turn, yeah, and also some places in the middle of the super highway, they call it they call super, motorway, they call it super highway. So in the middle of the super highway, there is a U-turn. So you'll be hammering at 140 kilometers per hour, and then there's some dude U-turning <laughs> right in front of you. <laughs> uh, but if you can master Europe traffic, then you can surely master uh, Thai traffic. So uh, just keep in mind that uh, many of these guys over here, they are way less skilled drivers than you. And they have way, low, way lower uh, driving education than you. You have to be careful. Expect the unexpected when you're driving. And then you should be able to avoid Unfall. We are now in Chiang Mai. We're going to eat at this restaurant, boat restaurant. Wife is taking a she No, uh, uh, she, she's taking a leak. There we go. She's back now. Okay, but look. So we drove 69 kilometers from Changda. Oh, man, the display. Come on, dude. Seriously. Yeah, uh, Isabel is hungry. I need to hold down this button. Wait, how do you get it back? Man, this piece of shit uh, Chinese software. I'm trying to hold on this OK button. Uh, it should be able to see. There, there, there. Now we see it. OK. 69 kilometers. It took one and a half hours. Look at this. Average speed was 48 kilometers per hour. 
Welcome to uh, Thailand Stau. And then we have 85% left. And supposedly the consumption was only 142 watt hour per kilometer. All right, but before we start, and wifey needs to breastfeed. Okay, I'm not gonna show you guys that. <laughs> right, so as usual, we use the Eprium to do the rocking mode. <laughs> this is priceless when we are eating. We have some green tea, we have, what is called rainbow cake? Is this the gay cake? <laughs> An Eprium gay cake. <laughs> And then some brownie. Think about it. This is 30 baht. It's um, it's less than one euro for that. Well, yeah. And then we have some um, a papaya salad. And then that's for wifey. There's some. Um, okay, I need some food. And some soup and some rice. Oh yeah. Look at that. Tissue. Some chicken with. I need pen coconut. Mm -hmm. Coconut. Wow. All right, let's dig in. Well, Isabel didn't want to be in the stroller anymore. So, look, 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 look. She has this. <laughs> she has the ground. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. Oh, it's nice and cold. Oh, you want to have some cake? Well, we better not teach her what this is yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good, good. You, you big girl now. We have to, we have to remember the moment when Isabel is a small, cute little baby. Wifey says that she wants, she wants Isabel to stay small like this forever. <laughs> we're now at the hotel, Kung Pu Kam. We are actually, we have stayed here many, many times. We are like long time customers here, but. Uh, Yes, so we park uh, the Aura Good Cut here. It's getting filled up now, so there will be a two, two tour buses coming later tonight. And they are just going to show you all the stuff you see here. This one, we, we fit the, the Eprium in the trunk, plus all this luggage. And the, yeah, yeah, this is baby, like 60, 70% of all the luggage we have is baby stuff. But all this stuff actually fit in the Aura Good Cut. Eh? But you see that we don't have place for Maya. Maya, if Maya wants to come, she has to take the bus here. You see, a common uh, policy at hotels is no durian. The durian smells so much that they don't want that shit in there. <laughs> okay, mandatory room inspection. Uh, the regular room was not available, so we actually went for a junior suite this time. Well, why not? Because I figure that uh, this hotel is in general not too expensive. It's a four-star hotel and uh, the price here is uh, 2,400 baht per night or roughly 66 euros. And I'll show you what you get in Thailand for 66 euros. You get 60 square meter. Here we have the bed and the bed here is freaking humongous. This is, more, this is bigger than a regular, uh, regular 180 centimeter or six foot bed. It's, it's more like, I don't know, eight foot bed or something. <laughs> so I tried to measure it. Yeah, yeah, whatever. It's, it's big, plenty of space. We have a TV over here. We have a uh, uh, seating area here. Okay, the, don't mind the style. The style seems to be a weird mix, but, and also this is like a Lana style, Thai wood, yeah. Probably some uh, endangered species, some, some teak or I don't know. We have, Mini bar here, yeah, 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 you know. The, the, the Thai four star hotel. And also a place for wifey to do the makeup here. Yeah, there's a wardrobe here. Man, man, all the stuff we carry around. There's, there's Isabel. Hey, you liked it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me see, I have, you haven't seen Isabel close up. Yeah! What the heck is that thing? <laughs> yeah, here you see the, the, to the bathroom. We have a bathtub and a shower. And then, oh yeah, man, I like, I like the butt sprayer. Oh, oh man, it, you know, usually you can twist this one. Yeah, some, some uh, places you can twist it between the, the low, low um, pressure and the high pressure. But I always want to have it at the high. <laughs> yeah, all right. But you know, funny thing is that in the old days, this one here used to be a glass, 
but they are actually kind of painted it or made it diffuse because uh, in the old days I would be able to sit here or just lay down in the bed and watch wifey take a shower <laughs> okay but anyway so this is just day one uh, tomorrow we're going to um, go do some stuff we have some important stuff to do um, we are going to make uh, uh, Isabella the, the passport yeah and I'm also making a passport Thai passport uh, now I can have dual citizenship I already have a Norwegian passport so yes there's be a little bit of uh, business to do here but also some chill time but anyway I think today that's enough so good night good morning it's now one in the afternoon and they have uh, put up signs that uh, they're going to shut the power on the whole hotel from one <laughs> and then I just remember how do we get the the baby stuff downstairs well <laughs> we have help from the bellboy oh, but I have to carry the baby and the backpack and everything yeah now we need to assemble everything I think I have to give you some tip for this man it's freaking hot in here uh, I don't have app support uh, there is no way to pre-cool the car it's 32 degrees Celsius and also this press car does not have tint yes you you always want to get tint in Thailand tint all the windows so it's it's really hot in the back see wife I tried to block the Sun she's hot well I mean like you know like hot like that yeah you know yeah 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 there you go yeah yeah nah. <laughs> wife is always hot <laughs> no but you see the problem is that this car has no air vents in the back so all the cool air needs to come from the front we try to divert it so this is actually kind of clumsy no preheating the pre-cooling would help yeah oh well okay uh, let's get out of here over here now this is the Chiang Mai uh, town hall something we're gonna do some uh, work here but remember to always park the car in the shade in Thailand you don't want to put it in the middle of the sun no no that's a bad idea so everyone's trying to hug the shade here so we prepared all the stuff but the problem is that Isabel is sleepy she is so cute when she's asleep so look like she got some natural eyelashes now so um yeah I think we need to move her over to the seat pack uh, she will sleep more comfortably in the seat pack there so yeah all right well it's a bummer um we went inside this building well yeah and then turns out that they have moved the location for uh, making passports so we have to drive 3.4 kilometers it will take eight minutes because of the stau yeah the thai stau well right new try new building wi-fi went ahead so yeah now we just lock uh, always run the air conditioning while I'm doing the preparation uh, run the air conditioning as long as possible and always find a spot in the shade right we done now and every time we want to drive it's extra hassle because we have such a small trunk here okay. Okay, we're down to 79 percent and but remember uh, on the trip here we spent 15 percent from Chiang Mai not from Chiang Dao to Chiang Mai so first I want to go to uh, Solau uh, restaurant but uh, we will go to uh, central Chiang Mai central festival instead yeah that's 8.5 kilometers away it takes 17 minutes <laughs> but right now uh, wifey is breastfeeding I mean or Isabel is breastfeeding wifey is that how it is uh, well, I have to say the suspension in this or a good cut or, or a funky cut is nice it's good so uh, Thailand has kind of shitty uh, rough uh, asphalt and uh, concrete roads well just over here it tends to be smooth but uh, I think they're fairly long wheel but that's not a good cut oh, hmm, like this blue color 
Yeah, but the relatively long wheelbase uh, helps give it nice comfort, despite being a, a quite small car. Finally, we're back at the Central Festival. Seems like this trip we've been mostly in Changdao, and then I've been driving back and forth and stuff. Oh yes, here we are. You know, I think we are the only one using these uh, big, well, big baby strollers. Uh, Thai people, I, I don't know what kind of baby strollers they use, but I haven't seen anyone use Cybex, especially not Eprium. And then this is the, the Platinum. Okay, look at this belt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, but anyway, we're gonna find uh, sushi. There's a there's a very nice sushi restaurant somewhere here. We have so much food options here, man. Man, Thailand is food heaven. Food everywhere, and then of course shopping also. So, uh, wifey went over there now. Okay, so let's see. But you know, one thing I noticed is that in uh, it's, it's still Christmas time, right? Christmas, New Year. Now it's the 27th of uh, December, I think. Let me see, what is the date now? 27th of December. They play Christmas music freaking everywhere. I, I don't need to listen to Christmas music. I, I went, run away from Christmas in winter. <laughs> okay, let's see, where's wife go? Let's go this way. Today we're eating at Fumi Japanese restaurant. Here we have some soba, we have cold soba with ice cubes even we have spicy salmon we have uh, crunchy rolls with uh, um, uh, again, shrimps and here we have some wakyu eel and oh yeah lots of goodies mm -mm -mm. this is actually premium food all right let's dig in and then i think isabella is getting grumpy <laughs> yeah yo what's up <laughs> Spicy salmon. Mmm. 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 Fresh and juicy. Huh? One. One. Man, that was top-notch food. And it was around 2,470 baht, which is 700 nook or 70 euros. Oh man, I could eat that almost every day. Well, yeah, and you know, we have so much food options here. Man, we have, yeah, there's just, we have a grill. We have some uh, cake stuff here. I think that's more grill. Where there is Japanese food, there is Thai food, there is uh, charcoal, Svensson's. If I would live in Thailand, I would become a fat bastard, that's for sure. Well, I want to try this brownie truffles. Isabel is about to fall asleep now. Oh, it's been a long day for Isabel. Look at that, look at how cute she is. Oh, yeah. This is how I try to lose weight. How to exercise. I don't know where the heck wife you right now. But yeah, I'm doing the daddy. She's been carrying Isabel for nine months. Now I have to carry her for the next nine months. <laughs> oh man, it's now past eight in the evening. We've been shopping all day. We, oui. yeah. Uh, so yes, I think it's time to head back to the hotel. We've been buying some food and stuff also, and stuff we need, baby stuff, but also, yeah. Well, I guess, uh, huh? Big Bang, I pay, pay more than that. Okay. And Google suggests to take this uh, super highway. But then over here we have the Maya intersection, which is really busy. There, there's a shopping mall called Maya there. So um, I think we'll take a local road around it instead. So don't, don't always trust Google in Thailand, I guess. Okay, so uh, normally wife will be sitting in the back with Isabel. So I'm just chauffeur in the front. Yeah, Isabel start making some cute noises. Hand by hand, Isabel. Okay, mate. I don't know if you see Isabel down there, back there. But you see, there is no uh, cabin light for the rear, so it's quite dark in the back. So, like, no cabin light, no air vent in the back. Uh, seems like this car is not very good, uh, comfortable for passenger in the back. 
We are now at the hotel and uh, today, unfortunately, we did not get a spot right in front of the reception. So the park in the basement downstairs. And the problem is that, well, here we have the car. Um, but we have stroller with us, baby stroller. And then here is the stairs up to the reception. <sighs> I don't feel like... Uh, yeah, okay, and then the elevators. They are kaput. They have been kaput for a long time. So I guess once you become a parent and you start dragging around with a stroller, you realize that many places in Thailand is not very child friendly or wheelchair friendly. So what I have to do now is just dry. I mean, yeah, wifey went upstairs already with Isabel. Then I will just <laughs> walk over the, the, the garage. Man, this is a freaking shabby place, I have to say. If we, oh shit, what? I mean, this is not very wheel friendly, wheelchair friendly. If you come down here with wheelchair or, or a baby stroller, then you're almost out of luck. The only upside here is that uh, this is Ipriam. It's electric, so it will actually help me uphill. Oh, I can feel, oh, I can feel it's pushing. Look at this, <laughs> like a ninja. Okay, I'm almost there. Just have to get up here. Yeah, and by the way, in Thailand, you can get, well, you don't get personalized a license plate, but you will see that some cars, they have nice looking license plate with, with lots of colors. It's, it's like an auction. And then the nicer the number, the more expensive it is. So in Chiang Mai, if you want to get to Chiang Mai and then 999, I think you have to pay something like 10 million baht, <laughs> which is like the price of, two Taycans in Europe, so I'm like, uh, I'm not sure about that. Man, this bed is probably 240 centimeters wide. So we made a little playground for Isabella. <laughs> yeah, we were told that uh, she needs to uh, learn how to crawl. She needs to do this every day now. I'm gonna work on that crawling skills. Oh yeah. <laughs> So of course, one of the parents will always uh, supervise her when she's playing. So we will not let her out of sight when she's in here. Uh, you know, yesterday when we were at the boat uh, restaurant and boat bakery, we bought two of these uh, cakes. I'm not sure what is called marble cake. Uh, and then I couldn't swear that I did not eat one piece yesterday, last night. And also I asked wifey, she also didn't eat. But then when we came back to the hotel room, then there's only one left. Well, uh, the, huh? We, I, I was looking all over the room, like, huh? Where, wait, huh? Did it drop under here? No. Wait, could it be that the staff ate one of the cookies or one of the cakes? Huh? I mean, it's just 15 baht or I don't know how much it was. I think we're 15 baht only. Uh, what else is missing? Huh? Wait, I need to search. What the heck, man? This hotel? Okay, well, it's, it's cheap. It's four star and cheap. And then you have shit like this, right? That should have been repaired. That they haven't repaired. Uh, and then broken elevator that has been broken for years. And um, yeah. I think it's time to find a new, uh, a new hotel that we use, like new favorite hotel. This one, yeah. Dinner for the night, we went for something simple. This is just uh, deep fried pork <laughs> with sticky rice and some chili sauce. And then for me, I have pomegranate juice. And that is, fr this is also fr okay, fresh, freshly uh, squeezed, um, orange juice and then why we went for uh, satay chicken satay Ooh. yeah let's dig in yeah we also you know, it's just this is casual 